Hey, did y'all see the story about the AP? And this is the uh, last show uh, what, uh, the, from like 10 to 11. Or from, yeah, from 10 to 11 on MSNBC. I forget the guy's name, but last show with what, uh, whoever his name. On the, released by the AP that Ron, the AP release that Ron Paul had been uh, paying for first class tickets with tax dollars in his travels between Texas and Washington, D.C. So uh, this guy wanted to report on this story because he said he likes it when he finds people, you know, being two-faced or standing for one thing and then actually doing another. But before he released the story and talked about it, he decided to call the Ron Paul camp and give them a chance to defend themselves. And they said, well, they, they didn't release it in the headline, the truth of the matter, that no, he always paid for them upgrades himself. Uh, and uh, this guy actually stood up, he said, actually, they, it's not that they didn't put it in the headline, they never even mentioned it at all in the story. But the fact of the matter is there's something about they can buy a better deal for the tickets when they buy them, like, they're instructed not to buy your tickets ahead of time because recesses, uh, recesses for Congress usually don't happen necessarily on the day they're supposed to. So they usually buy their tickets there like towards the last couple days but they can there's some way they can buy them cheaper and what a lot of times they're non-refundable so what Ron Paul does he ends up spending his own money to upgrade them to first class out of his own pocket instead of letting the tickets go to waste so instead of using the taxpayers money for these uh first class He's actually saving the taxpayers because they're non-refundable, and he goes ahead and uses his own money to upgrade them. Well, I think that's a bunch of BS for AP <coughs> to be so negligently reporting this. I mean, that that that's right there, slander. When you talk about someone like Ron Paul that stands up for integrity and not wasting our tax dollars, and that Ron Paul actually gives back some of his his salary that he's entitled to by being a congressman he gives part of his salary back to the government from what I've heard you know I don't think he would lie about it that he doesn't want the full pay he, you know he has enough of his own money and he doesn't feel comfortable taking more than the average American so he actually returns some of his money he's always stood for uh, uh, not for, for uh, not spending a lot of government money for for doing away with waste, fraud, corruption, all that, and for uh, the a Associated Press to release lies and slander Dr. Paul like that, and accuse him of spending taxpayers' money on first-class tickets when that's not true. They need to be sued for slander for millions and millions of dollars. I I personally feel that they are intruding on my civil rights. That my my right for uh, of happiness for the pursuit of happiness, which is my right under the Constitution, is for the right to pursue pursue happiness, is being violated because for me personally, anyone else can feel about it how they want. Me personally, I don't think I feel very strongly. I'm going to be very unhappy unless Dr. Paul is elected as the next president of the United States. Without Ron Paul as our next president, I think we're in deep, deep trouble. I think we're in big trouble either way. However, I truly feel with Dr. Paul, we have a, at least a fighting chance. Without him, we're pretty much done. And my happiness as a human being, I personally believe, depends on Ron Paul being voted president. And when the Associated Press, the media we're supposed to trust with our news, with what the only reality, we can't be everywhere and see everything. We have to depend on the media for the news. And when they're lying to us and manipulating and just flat out slandering people, 
and they're they're putting him they're making it that people that might consider voting for Ron Paul were to hear that story they say oh he's just like the rest of them and he's a little out there you know I, I started to really listen to him and thought maybe I vote for him but he's just a fake he's spending the taxpayers money he's just like the rest of them so I might as well just go with Mitt Romney he's probably gonna win it anyways so I might as well go with someone and uh, because I don't want Obama I'll just go with Mitt Romney then like everyone else when it's a bunch of BS they're slandering Dr. Paul that's intruding on my civil rights to 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 pursue happiness by lying about the man that I think can save our country the AP needs to be held liable for slander and sued for millions and fifty fifties and hundreds of millions of dollars and I, I'm not a lawyer and all, and I don't know. Is there a lawyer that out there that will help me take this case? I will stand up. I will testify. Whatever it takes. Anyone else that wants to bring, any lawyer out there that wants to bring slander against AP, please do this. It doesn't have to. I don't need the money. I would, I, I would gladly participate in a, uh, what's that called, a group lawsuit, uh, a, you know, or a whole civil class group lawsuit. I will sign my name to it. So, anyone wants to respond, anyone that knows a lawyer, please pass on this video or thoughts. It's not for me, it's for our country. Ron Paul, 2012.